to Pro Tools Music Production lessons here at educator.com. This lesson we will talk about Elastic Audio. We will learn one of the greatest features in this lesson has been introduced several years back in Pro Tools called Elastic Audio. It is a great way to manipulate audio as it was MIDI. You will learn how to stretch or shrink the timing and learn how to raise or lower a pitch along with a few other great features on these hands-on practice. Elastic Audio lets us change the tempo of audio without adjusting the pitch just like Beat Detective does but in a real time. You may think this is a quite close way of manipulating audio as we do uh, with our TCE. Uh, trimmer, time compassion expression, uh, expansion trimmer. Uh, but I will also go ahead and give an example of how Elastic Audio uh, works differently than using the TCE tool without the Elastic Audio itself. There is a little bit differences in between because Elastic Audio gives us actually a world of possibilities and flexibilities when we work with the audio. So. Before we start, this probably uh, it gives us a very world of flexibilities to be able to do that. And years ago, it was kind of not very possible. We could manipulate, uh, stretch the MIDI all years before, but applying all these features in Elastic Audio, which I think is a cool name too, uh, it's really what we, we're going to be doing on this tutorial. So let's get started before losing any time. Elastic Audio, example, what I have here, I have a session tempo of 130 BPM and I have a loop bass line up here and a one p rhythmic piano line. Let's listen. These all have different tempi right here. Let's just loop this area so you can hear how they are not matching. Okay, I have uh, I have three uh, audio tracks here: bass, a drum loop, and a piano, and all different tempo and differently than my session tempo too. So uh, this is going to be a kind of a nice example to turn on the elastic audio feature to fix and do some time operation stretching the timing uh, first of all we're going to go ahead and quickly fix this one in order to do that we have to turn the elastic audio on uh, the way we do that we need to first of all know we're going to apply these changes to audio clips if you're using the earlier versions of pro tools this is going to be under your region pro tools 10 it's going to be under the clip your elastic properties at this point it won't bring anything because I didn't uh, select any clip so that will come just empty I need to select the clip once I do that actually uh, it's still not showing me because we have to enable the elastic audio so what we do and where we do this one in our tracks on the left side right here right next to the automation we see this little sign looks like a little metronome we uh, click on that and then we have options at this point our elastic audio is disabled we have an option of polyphonic rhythmic monophonic and very speed and we have a uh, another option right here too and a couple of little uh, real-time processing and rendered processing uh, usually elastic audio is real time but if you think you're working in a, such a system that is already a little bit heavier uh, sessions that you have uh, then rendered processing uh, will work better with such system but i think today's computers since since we use our cpu power uh, we have much stronger uh, computers lately so I think that processing power should be enough for keep on going and working on the real-time processing but at this point I need to choose one of those just because uh, the baseline will be a single line I would probably go monophonic but I'm gonna go choose polyphonic at this point just because if there are a couple of overlapping notes uh, that's gonna be my choice here mainly it's, uh, 
if it's a bass line without like double stops and couple of notes usually monophonic is another way to go and I'm going to solo this track and I'm gonna solo the click and let's go and hear this one it's definitely not working with my click it's a little bit slower and you can see on my audio file here too that actually it's not fitting in with my in my bars and beats uh, as far as the grid